Alright, hi guys. So let's start the next episode of five MCQs in five minutes, through which you are actually revising five ultra important topic. This series is important for NEET PG, INICT, and our FMG aspirants. The very first question that I have got today for all of you guys is about a patient presented to hospital after road traffic accident and has increased intracranial pressure without cerebral hemorrhage. So there is no cerebral hemorrhage. Which of the following agent is utilized in the management of this one or preferred in the management of this uh, patient? So the correct answer for this question is going to be none other than your mannitol which happens to be one of the osmotic diuretic. Remember guys, osmotic diuretic as a compound that we know, it is going to be contraindicated in a patient with the congestive heart failure patient. In, it is going to be contraindicated in a patient with the active cerebral beat, with the active cerebral beat. Now, why in a patient the congestive heart failure? Because they are osmotic diuretic. No, they can increase the intravascular volume, right? And if there is active cerebral bleed, this uh, osmotic compound they will pull the water, the pull the water or the blood towards themselves. So let's say there is a cerebral hemorrhage. This compound can go to the brain parenchyma and they will pull uh, the blood more towards itself and they will try to, you know, they will always and always increase, you know, or they will always worsen the cerebral hemorrhage. Glycerol is one of the oral osmotic diuretic mainly utilized for, you know, uh, minious disease ke diagnosis mein hum isko use karte hai. For minious disease, ENT mein you must have read about this. And a not steroid and uh, sodium nitroprusside, the preferred one for in treatment of intraocular pressure. Intraocular pressure is always going to be mannitol. Second question that we are having about this one is about a drug addict patient presented with agitation and ulceration of skin. The patient had severe itching and scratch mark. Okay, scratch marks on the body that doesn't say anything specific. Upon examination, there is tachycardia, mydriasis, and hypertension. Okay, so there is sympathetic symptom tachycardia mydriasis and hypertension likely substance abuse for this patient cocaine lsd cannabis and morphine now do remember uh, most of you must have marked morphine but always remember morphine on the high dose they decrease the blood pressure they decrease the heart rate plus they will be causing pinpoint pupil they are going to cause pinpoint pupil you know? so morphine would be the least possible and you must have heard about something called cocaine bugs because of which there is a scratch mark and patient must be scratching uh, himself or his skin correct answer for this one is uh, cocaine reason being cocaine is also one of the norepinephrine transporter inhibitor that will increase the level of norepinephrine and there will be lot and lot of sympathetic symptom the patient will present to you with lots of sympathetic symptom what is the example of sympathetic symptom increasing the blood pressure tachycardia and mydriasis okay so this is going to be one of the case now always and always remember this decrease in the heart rate decrease in the pupil size is going to be seen with the morphine similar kind of action uh, similar kind of symptom we will also be seeing in a patient with the organophosphate and carbamate. So organophosphate carbamate, there will be history of farmer. On the other hand, if it is going to be a morphine, there will be history of drug addict. Now, whenever you are going to look at the drug addict, you know, drug addict, drug addict with skin involvement, drug addict with increase in the sympathetic symptom, increase in sympathetic symptom, this will be none other than your cocaine. However, if there is drug addict that is coming to uh, you with Let's say decreasing the blood pressure, decreasing the heart rate at pinpoint pupil, right? decreasing the BP, decreasing the heart rate. Right? This is all sympathetic or yes, sympathetic ulta, decreasing the BP, decreasing the heart rate right? and plus pinpoint pupil. So this is going to be a case of your opioid. So I hope these two drug addict I have clarified and organophosphate carbamate also have clarified. Organophosphate, uh, organophosphate carbamate, the patient will present to you with a case of, uh, you know, um, uh, parasympathomimetic like increasing secretion, uh, bradycardia and all. A patient who was exposed to halothrin for general anesthesia developed rigidity and hyperthermia. So this is actually a case of uh, malignant hyperthermia. Examiner is mainly talking about here a case of malignant hyperthermia. Examiner asks, this is possibly due to involvement of which ion? Okay, so possibly due to involvement of the calcium ion, no? Because malignant hyperthermia may there is actually abnormality related with your iodine receptor. Iodine receptor that is. Uh, present at the sarcoplasmic reticulum excessive uh, calcium release could lead to hyperthermia and other uh, uh, symptoms that has been mentioned here now when it comes to inhalational agent when it comes to inhalational agent that is causing malignant hyper aw is associated with malignant hyperthermia it is always going to be halothane right but if the examiner is going to ask you uh, muscle relaxant or most common overall Overall, most common agent that is actually associated with malignant hyperthermia that is going to be succinylcholine. 
But if the examiner asks local anesthetic agent, local anesthetic agent that is going to be associated with malignant hypothermia, actually local anesthetic is the risk is lesser. But if you have to choose one, you can go ahead with the lidocaine, right? These are the history, uh, these are the actually a summary of malignant hypothermia. Inhalational agent is going to be halothane. Overall, most common agent or muscle relaxant that is associated with malignant hypothermia, succinyl choline. Local anesthesia may is going to be lidocaine. The management of malignant hypothermia is going to be your dantrolene. Dantrolene happens to be the drug of choice for malignant hypothermia. This is another question that you can remember here. Next question that we are having is about a five-year-old child brought to OPD with uh, by parents with complaint of squint and decreased vision. For doing uh, the refraction testing, which of the following drug will be most suitable? Okay, pediatric population may for zero to seven year we will be using a stronger or I would say more potent mitriatic cycloplegic agent that is going to be your atropine ointment one percent up to zero to seven year. Uh, tropicamide that we have it is going to be preferred in adult this is one question that is always and always uh, you know asked in the examination do remember this atropine or tropicamide both of them guys they are actually m3 antagonists that will be causing cycloplegia because they are present m3 receptor is present on ciliary muscle and they will also be causing your mydriasis okay so tropicamide is preferred for adults because their uh, duration of action is lesser compared to atropine that is lasting for almost uh, 7 to 10 days. Last question is about a uh, patient who is recently visited, who has recently visited Assam coming to emergency with fever, chills, ulterior sensorium. The patient from Assam, this has been asked n number of times already and this was actually a case of uh, malaria. So I think peripheral blood smear also reveals the diagnosis of falciparum malaria which is mainly associated also with the cerebral malaria and always remember a patient of cerebral malaria should actually be treated with your IV artisunate. You are going to treat this patient with the IV artisunate and once the patient gains consciousness, once the patient gains consciousness, let's say around 48 hours after, then you can shift the patient per orum to artemisinin combination therapy. ACT means artemisinin combination therapy. Now look at from where the patient is coming. If the patient is coming for let's say northeast state, then we are going to use artemether plus lumifantin. AL is artemether plus lumifantin. In addition to that, a single dose of primaquine. Primaquine, single dose. 45 milligram on day two 45 milligram on day two right if the patient is coming from rest of india then this is actually a uh, malaria ka program bhi main summarize kar diya liye. i have uh, made it uh, very simple for all of you guys if the person is coming from rest of the india then we'll be using asp asp is artisunate sulfadoxin pyrimethamine if you are writing down take note asp is artisunate sulfadoxin pyrimethamine Plus, you are also going to give the same primaquine. Again, the same primaquine, single dose, 45 milligram on day two, we'll be utilizing, right, artemisinin combination therapy. So, this is actually a quick summary of malaria as well for all of you guys. IV artisanate is a drug of choice for cerebral malaria. So, this was five important topics in five minutes. I hope all of you guys have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you in the next uh, episode. Thank you very much to all of you. Mm -hmm.